Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the DreamyBot X30 Ultra. Dreamy did send me a pre-release sample and I'm really excited to be testing this out with you guys today. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. So from that link, you'll see there's a pre-order special going on right now, saving you up to $459, giving you that early bird pricing and discount. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what what's inside. Here's a look at all of the included contents we got with our pre-release sample. You can expect to get the bare bones like we have here, but you'll have a more refined retail box, product literature, things along those lines you can expect to get like any other dreamy product. But what we needed is the vacuum itself and this base to do our testing. And I'm really excited to try this vacuum out. We also got a multi-purpose detangling tool and brush power cord. We did get some cleaning solution. You'll get some cleaning solution as well. You'll see we have the vacuum with our mop pads. I wanted to leave those off for a second so you can see where it's going to swing out and be able to scrub and mop and then swing back in. I love that kick out design. It can also lift these up or down to keep them from dragging on carpets. And this vacuum is smart enough. It can actually remove the mop pads itself and leave them in the base and put them back on. So really, really a smart and capable vacuum. You also get a side cleaning brush right here. That just snaps right on. You'll see our spring loaded drive wheels, omnidirectional wheels, all of our sensors. Got our main brush roller right there, easy to clean and detangle. Let's flip it around. You'll see in the front right here, our AI action with our cameras, lights, and sensors. Navigational bumper. Here's a look at the backside, self-empty, charging, refilling, all of that good stuff. And then the very top, ladder navigation, three control buttons, dreamy logo and branding. Then we have our removable dustbin right here. So if we need to clean it or manually empty it, we can do that. That's where it self empties. We have a filter up top to clean and replace. That's where all the contents enter in from the vacuum. So a very capable unit here. Now let's look at the base up close. First things first, here's a look at the top of the base. It lifts right up to reveal our clean water tank and dirty water tank. They easily pull right out like so to reveal the inside there. And then that just shuts it opens as you see fit. Both tanks follow a similar design. We just have a flap and a clip to open up to easily get access to refill or to empty our dirty water. Clean water tank's gonna pump all of that water up and out. You'll see it come through the other side right there. Dirty water tank's gonna be the exact opposite. It's gonna bring all of that dirty water into the tank and we have a float here to let us know when it's full, but both gonna be the same size, same handle. The only difference is gonna be the internal mechanisms and your clear or clean water tank and your darker or dirty water tank. Moving right along, you'll see the front of the unit right here. Look at the really neat polished metal and groove plastic design, indicator light, dreamy logo and branding with that gold accent. Got a little arrow indicator down here letting us know that we can pull this out. Let's take a look at that. Revealing our included dust bag. Already installed for us, very simple to press right in. And then on this side, we have our solution tank here. So you can pour in the included solution that will mix and do everything for you automatically right there. Moving further down, you'll see our self-empty charging contacts, refilling and cleaning station right here. So this will clean your vacuum as well as it will be able to clean itself, which is really cool. And this is removable, right? So we can get this out of the way. That's just to protect it from shipping. This is removable if you need to make any fine tune cleaning adjustments yourself, but it can store the mop pads there and do everything it needs to take care of your vacuum and leave you focusing on other things while it cleans itself. You'll also notice this piece is removable and this is gonna be your grip for the vacuum to drive up and onto and into its charging and cleaning base. Here's a look at the side profile and other side profile. Take a look at the backside. Main thing you'll see here is we have our power cord and cable management right there. Toggle on and off switch. Looks like we have some sort of barrel plug connector there. Built-in handle, 
maybe an expansion port here or there in the future, depending on what is going to be bundled with this. Some of Dreamy's advanced models have the option to hook up a clean and dirty water kit directly to this to eliminate that step of you refilling your water tanks and things like that. So we'll see what comes in the future there, but that's a look at the backside. And last but not least, you'll see the very bottom of the base right here, some nice grip feet for this to just rest on flat surfaces. Now it's time to plug it in, charge it up and try it out. With our first clean out of the way, let's take a look at the results. I was able to intercept the vacuum before it auto emptied so we can look at the dustbin contents. Pulling out the dustbin, you'll see on the inside your typical dirt and dust around the seal and seam right there. Let's go ahead now. Oh, and you'll see some dirt and dust at the bottom there that came out. Look at our dustbin, ours is packed full to the brim of real world vacuum contents. I have two children, I have a wife, so we have a lot of long hair in our house, as well as a pet, so we have our dog hair in here too. Then your typical dirt, dust, and debris. I might be able to open this up without making a big mess. We'll see, this could end poorly. But take a look at that inside there. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. All the good stuff you would expect around your house. Maybe you can see at the very bottom here, 
the really fine dirt and dust and particles and crumbs as well packed in there. So this definitely needs to empty and it would have had I let it run its course, but really fine dirt and dust, tons of human hair, pet hair, all of that good stuff. Moving right along to the underneath of the vacuum, we have your typical hair tangles here on the side cleaning brush, that's as expected. Again, I have two daughters with long hair and my wife has long hair. So we have three long haired individuals in our house. So that's gonna be a typical occurrence for us just to maintain and clean those brushes. But what's key here is no pet hair, no human hair tangled on the main brush roller. That's huge. Usually you'll find some tangles in the corners, in the center, anywhere along here, but we do not have that at all. Also, the mop pads look fantastic, as good as new. That's thanks to the hot water mop pad washing and hot air drying, so no odors, no smells. It's doing a good job not having it keep or leave any stains, dirt, or anything like that on the mop pads, they look as good as new. This is also Dreamy's first model with washboard cleaning, so it is able to clean and cleanse itself. So let's take a look at that. Not bad. So we do have some, you know, sediment, dirt, drainage right there. A Little bit of debris, but man, that looks really good. Able to clean itself. And then looking at the very inside here, again, not bad at all. So at the very back, a little bit of water accumulation back there. And just a little bit of dirt and dust along both of the sides and some of those harder to reach areas. That looks pretty good. Now, if you don't believe me that that's clean, here's our Ecovax X1 Omni. And look at our station in here. Nothing pops out. There's no easy way to clean that. And then your dirt and dust and hair and everything just builds up over time. And you have to manually clean that out. So pretty disgusting. And they did a nice substantial job with what it's able to actually clean itself to prevent it from looking like this. So after setup and after you map and conduct your clean, you'll have an app that'll look similar to this. It'll just be built out with your map a little bit different depending on your environment. You can customize and configure just about everything you're seeing here. So up at the top, you get a breakdown of your previous clean and the status of the vacuum cleaner. We have the option to clean by room, everywhere, or zone cleaning. So pick and choose which one you want. Then we can edit and change all of our map settings here. You can even add things like no-go zones, no mop zones, and virtual walls and barriers. Drag and drop, easy to customize. We have live video monitoring if you want to cruise around your house and patrol, you can do that with the video camera. Then we have our cleaning settings down here. Clean Genius gives us two options. You have a routine clean and a deep clean. So pick and choose which one you want. And they give you a little breakout here of the different options within Clean Genius. And then we have customized clean. So we can see all of our clean settings. Do you want a vacuum mop, vacuum and mop, mop after vacuuming or customized room cleaning? What suction power do you want? Quiet, standard, turbo or max? Then we have our dock settings. Wash, dry, and empty tabs up at the top. Pick and choose which setting you want to change. Then you see we have our clean button down at the bottom to initiate a clean. Return back to the base. So if you want to go back home and charge. Top right hand corner, additional settings here. You can view your cleaning history. Everything's populated. Nice breakdown there. You can schedule cleanups if you want. Put your vac on a schedule. Just add it here. Then we have carpet settings, toggle things on or off, adjust the mop pad settings for carpets. Do you want it to avoid it? Do you want it to detach? How do you want it to go about cleaning? And then some carpet cleaning methods, carpet boost and intensive carpet cleaning. Floor clean settings. It can actually clean the direction of your floor to match your seams for less wear and tear. Intelligent mopping setting. A lot of features to toggle on or off as you see fit. Then we have our AI driven mop extend settings right here. Really neat. So adjust which one you prefer. Accessory usage, we get a breakdown here of everything on the vacuum for maintenance. Then real time camera settings, crew settings, live video prompt, security settings. Make sure that's enabled if you want to use that. AI obstacle avoidance. 
robot management, battery management. You can turn on off-peak charging, which is great. And then we have more functions down here. And then our general settings for our vacuum, and then we can delete it at the bottom. All right, here's a live view of the real-time video monitoring. We have cruise enabled. We've predetermined multiple points on the map for it to go to and check out for us. It's driving itself automatically as it makes its way around the house. Three different lighting environments. The kitchen has kitchen lights on with the window. Now it's gonna move to the playroom, which is natural light, no other lights on. Camera monitoring. We get a notification letting us know the camera is monitoring. You will get that audible acknowledgement. So here it is at the second point, cycling through. You'll notice in the live view overlay, you have the map in the top left-hand corner. You have your manual drive settings in the bottom left-hand corner. Right-hand side, we got our audio. This does have two-way audio. If you want to, you know, be out of the house, you're at work, you want to tune in, drive around, say hi and talk to your cat or your dog, you can do that. We're now in the family room with no lights on. Get a feel for the quality. You can quickly snap photos or videos and that lightning bolt will return it to home. You may have noticed now it turned on its flashlight to improve the lighting quality. It just finished the cruise and now it's making its way back home automatically. Pretty cool. So how's the X30 Ultra stack up against the competition? We'll be comparing it not only within Dreamy's product lineup, but also within all Robovacs we've ever tested. That list has now surpassed 50 Robovacs across all different feature sets and price points. So first up, we're looking at max suction power. This is measured in PAs. The X30 Ultra has the highest suction power we've ever seen at 8,000 PAs. The Dreamy brand average is 5,000 PAs, which you'll see is about 1,000 PAs over the typical average. Usually what you find, the higher this result, the better it is for your vacuum in regards to actual real world cleaning, but it's not always the case, but usually that's a good leading indicator. Same can be said for max CFM, the higher the better. Usually you see a nice deep clean with a higher CFM. In this case, our unit got a score of 6.9. That's about two points below the average for dreamy products. A little bit unusual to see in this case. And it's right at the average of your typical RoboVac. Now in a real world deep cleaning test where we embed coffee grounds in the carpet, you'll see we got a score of 85. That's nine points below the average for Dreamy, which is about 94. Typically they're one of the leaders in this space with the deepest, best cleans you can get on carpet with embedded dirt and debris and things like that. You'll see in this case, the X30 Ultra is right about at that average, which matches our previous CFM score. So the average about 86, we got a score of 85. Next, let's talk about decibels. The higher this value, the louder your vacuum is gonna be. We always conduct and measure this test on carpet with the loudest suction settings enabled with carpet boost, all of that good stuff. And in this case, you'll see we got a score of 79.5 decibels. Dreamy's brand average is 74. The overall average is 70. Why we're seeing a little bit of a louder result here is gonna be due to that increased suction power and capability with this particular vacuum. But realistically, compared to your typical Dreamy vacuum, this one's not any louder, but compared to your average RoboVac, it would be a little bit on the louder side. Next, let's talk about battery life measured in minutes. This unit has 180 minute runtime. Dreamy's brand average is 188, so we're right there. And we're about 30 minutes above the typical RoboVac runtime of 150 minutes. With this high-end vacuum, it's kind of an obsolete indicator because it's smart enough to go back home, recharge, and then resume its clean. Next, we have battery capacity measured in milliamp hours. This helps to explain our really long runtime. This has one of the largest battery capacities we've ever seen at 6,400 milliamp hours, about 1,000 milliamp hours greater than Dreamy's average. 
at about 3,000 milliamp hours greater than your typical average RoboVac. Next, let's talk about height, 3.8 inches for the height of this vacuum. That's the same as all your other Dreamy products. Basically, any RoboVac with LiDAR navigation with that module up top is usually at that 3.8, 3.9 inch range, whereas the overall average typical RoboVac is 3.6 inches because that total and pool consists of vacuums that don't have LiDAR navigation, so they tend to be a little bit shorter. Moving right along to bin capacity measured in milliliters, this unit has a 350 milliliter dustbin, a little bit smaller than Dreamy's typical average, and a little bit smaller than the overall average, but this is a self empty Robovac and you tend to find smaller dustbin capacities on your self-emptying units versus a Robovac that doesn't self-empty is going to have a larger dustbin preventing you from making as many trips to empty your unit out. Next, our water tank capacity also measured in milliliters. We have an 80 milliliter water tank capacity. The brand average is 163 for Dreamy. The overall average for a Robovac is going to be 250 milliliters, but just like the self empty bin when you have a unit that's smart enough like this to refill itself clean itself back at the station all of that good stuff they have smaller capacity tanks because they go back home to clean refill and do everything they need just like a vacuum will go back home and empty itself so very typical to see the 80 milliliter internal tank Again, mostly a moot point because it can go back home and refill as needed. It has much larger clean and dirty water tanks on the actual charging station and base versus tucked away inside the unit where if you have a typical mopping vacuum that doesn't have any sort of refilling or cleaning capabilities, they have that larger tank actually on the vacuum itself. So again, you're not refilling it manually as often. Now, this is a newer metric we've been measuring, so a lot of the premium high-end vacuums have your mop lift height. This is measured in millimeters. This unit has a 10.5 millimeter mop lift height. That's a little bit above Dreamy's average by about a millimeter. And you'll see it's about a millimeter and a half greater than the overall average. Now, what's cool about this particular vacuum, they give you the best of both worlds. It can lift the mop higher on average than your typical mop lifting RoboVac, so it's gonna make less contact with your carpets, but this model has the ability to leave the mop pads behind in the station. It can take them on and off by itself, so you can go out and vacuum your carpets without even having mop pads on at all. So pretty amazing. And now let's talk about the cost. This will help us understand this vacuum in regards to all the metrics and indicators that we just looked at. This is a fairly expensive vacuum cleaner because it's going to be one of your top of the line Ferrari models giving you everything available in regards to this space today. So it's on the cutting edge going to be a couple hundred dollars more than your brand average and a couple hundred dollars more than your typical average RoboVac. Now, a couple of key features that we're not able to quantify, but go into the unit overall that factor into your experience as well as the price point are as follows. Hot air drying. This is a great feature to have to prevent mildew and odors. It's able to run for a couple of hours. You can choose it within the app as you see fit how long it's going to dry your mop pads, prevent mildew, odors, all of that good stuff. We also have hot water washing. Same thing, this vacuum is smart enough to return home when its mop pads are dirty and it's gonna use hot water about 60 degrees Celsius to be able to break down stains and get all that dirt and grime off of those mop pads, keeping them as good as new. Then it can go back out, continue to clean your floors with clean mop pads. This also has washboard cleaning. So within the station itself, you're able to have it clean itself. So you don't have to take it out and clean it. You can still remove it and clean it if you want, but it's able to clean the washboard on its own. That's a huge feature for the longevity of your item just preventing you to have to do weekly and monthly maintenance is one less task you have to put on your list to check off and clean. This also has dirt detection. It's able to be smart to sense the dirty areas around your house and clean accordingly. This has Mop Extend just like the L20 Ultra, but I'm calling it Reach. I think they call it Mop Extend 3.0, but not only does it extend and kick that mop out, then it kind of wiggles, shakes itself, and can get an extra like four centimeters into those hard to reach areas. So really clever 
extension and use of technology to pivot and rotate to give us an even thorough and deeper clean. Also want to point out this has auto solution adding so you can add cleaning solution and it will mix, dispense and add it for you on its own. So a lot of key features, premium features, top of the line flagship features with the X30 Ultra. So where does that leave us with the X30 Ultra? Well, here's what you need to know. Before trying this vacuum, my favorite and best RoboVac of all time was the Dreamy L20 Ultra. So this is gonna be the successor to that vacuum with a couple of key upgrades. On paper, this is gonna be substantially better than even the L20 Ultra from battery capacity to suction power and a couple of key features like hot air drying, we have hot water mop washing, we have that mop extend where now it's gonna even pivot and reach further into those hard to get to areas. But technically in our deep clean tests, this actually underperformed the L20 Ultra. But what I wanna say to that is, you'd be hard pressed to know in your own house if you had it cleaning with the L20, swapped it out with the X30, you wouldn't know a difference. But this has upgraded mopping capabilities too, again with that mop extend. And now we have hot water mop pad washing, that's key to keep everything clean hygienic, right? You want to have everything not have odors, stains, all of that. This is going to help with that 60 degrees Celsius hot warm water to break everything down and just allow it to have cleaner pads to continue cleaning around your house. So mopping is key with this one. Really a great unit for vacuuming as well too, whether it's hard floors or carpets. Navigation is spot on. It did a really good job with the sensors. Better than I thought for a variety of objects and obstacles. The only thing that had trouble sensing in our test, it wasn't the small cable, the large cable, or any of the pet waste. It was a Sharpie, believe it or not. So maybe that will be upgraded in the future, but top of the line navigation and object recognition, very accurate in its findings. It'll give you probabilities of how confident it thinks it is in pet waste or cord, shoe, things like that. So really smart, capable vacuum. You'd be really happy with it and all of those great features. The only thing I wanna see in the future for this vacuum, I think it's probably the last upgrade you can even get. I'm not sure where the industry even goes from here, but with this model, it would be what I saw at CES. It's called their anti-tangle tri-cut brush. So basically it's designed to cut hair away while it's vacuuming so the brush won't be tangled anymore. So once and for all, we can eliminate all brush tangles. So I can't wait to see that added to this in the future or a future model out there with that technology. That's the only thing I can really think of, again, that they can improve on besides, right, even more suction power, longer battery life, but they even have upgraded features in the app like off-peak charging. They've done a really good job. It's hard to find things I'd wanna add or see different or changed with this vacuum.